Hello and welcome to the HiCut short clips. This video is about the new possibilities of the assembly HiCut Constraint Manager. I would like to introduce this tool to you in this video. I would like to start with the possibility to have defined positional constraints here. It's dialog based, that means you see here in a dialog what you have to do, namely to choose the first geometry. Again, when defining the constraints, HiCut follows a reliable rule, which means that the part I choose first follows the part I choose next. So I can define exactly which part is really moving, regardless of whether or not I have already defined parametric constraints here. I would now like to select this part, of course not on this side, but on the other side. To do this, I have the possibility to hide the surface with the ALT key and to choose the surface directly behind it, in order to achieve the coincidence on this surface here. With the middle mouse button, I will now take over the parametric constraints and again with the middle mouse button I will end the assignment of constraints in order to assign the concentricity next. Here too you can see that it is supported by dialogues. Here you have the opportunity to enter a comment. Flange on shaft for example to make the whole thing even clearer. In the high cut constraint manager I see the corresponding comment. Here too we end with the middle mouse button. However, I would like to define further parametrical constraints which means to select the area again. You can also see that the chosen part is becoming transparent. This gives me also the opportunity to choose parts behind it directly. I would like to choose this surface. The entire pipe is automatically switched transparently. I can select the part directly behind it without having to shift parts first. This has the advantage that I can reparameterize a complete assembly without having to pull parts apart first. Of course, this also applies under dimensional constraints. Here too it's dialog orientated. So I will choose the individual surface here to define the parametric constraints. Here too we can see that the part is transparent. So I could now immediately choose the surface behind this part down here. Or with the ALT key. I also have the option to hide the surface to snap and parameterize the part behind it. All this makes the job much easier. I have not to turn back and forth. And concerning dimensional constraints, I also have the possibility to make a range definition. So if components can only move in a certain range, I can also enter this here. What's also useful is that I don't have necessarily have to end the dialog and then delete something. You can always undo the constraints you have defined within the dialog. Then we have the possibility to define parametric constraints based on the part coordinate system. Let's use the example of this screw. We want to define equal position. So I'm going to choose the screw here. With F4 I can make the path coordinate system of this screw visible and achieve a coincidence of this surface here with that surface. And of course the same could be done with the concentricity. That means here for the z-axis, for example between two points, here and here. And so I have the possibility to replace a screw afterwards without losing the parametric constraints. So these conditions remain stable based on the part coordinate system. For larger assemblies there is the design checker which has been extended. Here I have the opportunity to examine these constraints. HiCut issues a lock. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.